Hi, this is Evin. Welcome to my channel Tricks World. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to prove 0 upon 0 equal to 2 and how to prove 0 upon 0 is equal to 1 upon 2. In school and colleges, we have learned that 0 upon 0 is not definable or meaningless. Though, Theoretically, we can prove 0 upon 0 is equal to 2 or 0 upon 0 is equal to half. Though it is scientifically and according to mathematics, though it is wrong, but for fun and entertainment, we can show that 0 upon 0 is equal to 2. We can also prove that 0 upon 0 is equal to half. According to mathematics, according to science, 0 upon 0 is not definable or meaningless. At the end of this video, I am going to show you scientific proof 0 upon 0 is not definable or meaningless. But just for fun and entertainment, now I will prove 0 upon 0 is equal to 2 and 0 upon 0 is equal to half. Here we go. Prove that 0 upon 0 is equal to 2. We start with 0 upon 0. Instead of 0, I will write 25 minus 25 divided by in the denominator, instead of 0, I will write 25 minus 25. Now, instead of 25, I write 5 square minus, instead of 25, I write 5 square. In the denominator, what I'll do is I take 5 common from these two terms. I take 5 common from these two terms. What remains? When we take 5 common, 5 minus 5. If we multiply 5 with 5, again we get 25. 5 into 5, 25. Now, I use this formula a square minus b square equal to a plus b into another bracket a minus b. I apply this formula to numerator. 0 upon 0 equal to 5 square minus 5 square, I write a square minus b square equal to a plus b into another bracket a minus b. That is 5 plus 5 into another bracket 5 minus 5 divided by in the denominator I write 5 into bracket 5 minus 5. These two brackets, they get cancelled. In the numerator, 5 plus 5, 10, divided by 5. That is 0 upon 0. 10 upon 5. If we divide 10 by 5, we get 5 ones are 5 twos are. That is equal to 2. In this way, we have proved 0 upon 0 equal to 2. You may ask one question. Can we prove 0 upon 0 is equal to 2 by taking any numbers here? The answer is no. We can prove 0 upon 0 is equal to 2 only by taking the perfect squares like 25, 36, 49, 100, etc. I will show you with 
one more example how to prove 0 upon 0 is equal to 2. We have to take the perfect squares. Here we go. Let us prove 0 upon 0 is equal to 2 by taking another example. This time I take perfect square 100. Instead of 0, I write 100 minus 100. In the denominator also, instead of 0, I write 100 minus 100. In the numerator, I write, instead of 100, I write 10 square, 10 square. 10 square is 100, 10 square is 100. In the denominator, I take 10 common. 10 minus 10. In the numerator, again I apply this formula a square minus b square equal to a plus b into another bracket a minus b. So I get here 10 plus 10 into another bracket 10 minus 10. In the denominator, 10 into another bracket 10 minus 10. These two, they get tens. So 10 plus 10 is 20. Divided by 10, 10 ones are, 10 twos are, again we get 2. In this way, we can prove 0 upon 0 equal to 2. Now I will show you how to prove 0 upon 0 is equal to half. Here we go. Prove that 0 upon 0 is equal to half. We have to prove 0 upon 0 is equal to half. Instead of 0, again I write a perfect square 25 minus 25. Instead of 0, I write 25 minus 25. This time, I take 5 common in the numerator. I have taken 5 common. So what remains? 5 minus 5. In the denominator, instead of 25, I write 5 square minus 5 square. I write in the numerator 0 minus 5 minus 5. I apply the rule a square minus b square equal to a plus b into a minus b for the denominator. So I get 1 plus 5. Brackets, they get cancelled. So 0 upon 0 equal to 5. In the denominator, 5 plus 5, that is equal to 10. 5 1 is 5 2. 0 upon 0 equal to 1 upon 2. In this way, we can prove 0 upon 0 is equal to half. Though I have proved 0 upon 0 is equal to 2 or 0 upon 0 is equal to half, but it is scientifically, according to mathematics, it is not correct. According to mathematics rules and according to science, 0 upon 0, upon zero is not definable or meaningless. Now I am going to show you with scientific proofs. Consider an example, when we write any number in this format, this shows that the denominator indicates that the number of objects we have, number of objects.
and numerator shows that how many object we have chosen objects this indicates that we have four objects and we have chosen one object out of four therefore this is meaningful if we write 2 upon 3 we have three objects and we have chosen two objects from three this is also meaningful but when we write 0 upon But when we write, say, 3 upon 0, suppose we write 3 upon 0, this shows that we have 0 objects, out of 0 objects, we are selecting 3 objects. This is ridiculous, this is meaningless, therefore, the This is called as meaningless or not definable. In the same way, if we write 0 upon 0, this indicates we have 0 objects and out of 0 objects, we are selecting 0 object. That means it is meaningless. When we don't have objects and we are selecting the objects from nothing, that means it is meaningless or not definable. Therefore, 0 upon 0 is not definable or meaningless according to mathematics, according to science. But theoretically, just for fun or entertainment, we can prove that 0 upon 0 is equal to 2 or 0 upon 0 is equal to half. Thank you for watching this video. This is Evan. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon, share the video. I'm thankful to YouTube and millions of YouTube viewers.